Hi, welcome back to the Backpacker Coach. Today I have another special episode of Chris Kramer's in Lausanne Froon, The Girls Missing from Panama. So we're here today kind of under an overhang to answer a very important question. Why are there so many vertical pictures of, the, of all the night photos? There's no real reason um, to be able to take pictures vertically like this. It's uncomfortable. It's why would you do that when all you have to do is pretty much just take a picture if you wanted to. And if you're trying to scare away something, I mean, all you have to do is you can point it any direction. There's no reason to do this. Um, it's uncomfortable. You don't do it usually unless you're actually trying to compose something. So there's no real reason for, for somebody to actually be holding the camera like this while sitting up. So I have a possibility of why there are so many vertical pictures and in, in at least the pictures that, that were uh, given to us that were published. If you look at the first picture, you notice that they're looking up almost nearly behind them, pretty much like this. And they would probably be sitting up. And then after that, there's a few more that the uh, camera is horizontal. And then after that, there is quite a few that are vertical. And I don't see reason why somebody would sit here and do this at night. So what I believe that they were doing, whoever took the pictures, is they were on their side. Because it's too odd to do this and take pictures, there's no reason to do that. So what I believe they were doing is if you lay on your side, now the camera is horizontal to your body and you can take pictures up and down and you could still take one a little bit to the side so that's why I believe there are so many pictures vertically. So imagine if you will, you're sitting at the edge of a riverbank and it's mostly dry riverbed and you're over a little tiny overhang that water has probably carved out over a long period of time. So your back is up against the overhang and you have a little bit of overhang so it's covering you and then you looking you're looking out and you can see you know the rest of the riverbank over on the other side if you look up you can see that there is an overhang above you and that is what the pictures are showing is that there is an overhang that's protecting whoever was taking the pictures so the camera wasn't getting too wet. It'd still be fairly easy if there was a, even a little bit of wind. 
you'd still would be um, possible to s still get, you know, a little bit of water would still come in, but you would at least be somewhat out of the rain. But the question still remains, why would you have the SOS so close to an overhang? Because you still wouldn't see it. So that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention, if you look very closely at the picture that you're looking nearly almost upwards or almost behind you, and you look at the leaves, the leaves, you can see the actual veins of the leaf. So that would indicate that you're underneath the leaves and not on top of the leaves. So that's why we believe also that it's also looking up. But it's still amazing that, that if they were sitting there underneath a overhang, that they still did not get any pictures of their, of their legs, their arms, anything, which is still pretty amazing to me. I mean, it's pretty hard to do. When I sit here with the camera and turn the camera on, even with my knees, my knees up, I still get my knees in the picture. So either they took almost all the pictures on their side, so that would, would mean then that they don't have anything in their way, but that still doesn't explain all the pictures because I would think that you would see feet or something somewhere in the picture, but of course we don't have all the pictures, so we're not exactly sure. Okay, in this part, I just wanted to show you I was under the overhang and I took a bunch of random pictures in kind of all over the place from what was above me to what was in front of me to what was kind of by the side. And then I put them together manually first so you can see how that looks. That was what it looks like when it was done manually. And that's what happens kind of when you are under uh, a close overhang. And then I did it again and I had Photoshop put it all together and it was able to figure out most of it except for these two. It didn't know what to do with those. It wasn't able to figure that out. But that's what kind of a overhang, a close overhang looks like when you um, take a picture of all the different pictures and then have Photoshop stitch it together. So it kind of looks, you can tell, kind of similar to uh, what we are dealing with with Chris and Lasanne. I still would like to do another, another test with a little bit farther away overhang. This obviously this overhang is a little close, so it you know it looks a little different obviously than the one that Chris and Lasanne were dealing with, or whoever took the pictures. But I thought I'd just show you um, what a large a bunch of taking a bunch of pictures kind of out and up and around an overhang looks like and just to kind of give you an idea of what that what that looks like so there you go don't forget to like and like and subscribe and don't forget every time you hit the like button a tear forms in Feliciano's eyes